Hello everybody and welcome, hi, yes, one and all, to this cosmic platform of mining. Uh, we are back with some more Astro Colony. And today, I think we are going to continue to automate this little platform a bit. Last time we explored that little piece of rock a little bit more. There's a ton of mining that we are going to do over on that side. But before we get into that... I noticed that we left off our first station, as this is known, with a little bit of a problem in that I didn't set up any conveyor belts like I spoke about doing, but just never did because, you know, that checks out. Uh, so that's what we're going to do now. So first and foremost, we need to get these belts driving with some, um, what am I doing? Just select the block. Select the block. I want you to do this. Thank you. Can we actually select all of these? That's... Okay, we're going to delete those. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to create... Like I said, we're going to do the conveyor belts here. We're going to have them coming through this section over here. Um, these will then feed the coal into a lot of these. Uh, I think there's only like one operating at the moment. Which is currently at 690% network load. Fantastic. Uh, okay. So, right. We need to address that. Then, that'll feed, like I said, the coal into this. Uh, I'm trying to remember... Actually, why? Oh, we needed the iron. That's that's why we eliminated that. Uh, problem is, is that those aren't getting power. So, they're not processing. We need power because of the coal. So, I think for now, let's manually... Just pick up all of this lovely fossil fuels and um, let's have a look. Let's split that. We'll split that and split that. Then uh, nope, we'll put that there. Yeah, okay. We'll uh, chuck that in there. Chuck that in there. I think there's probably an easy way to do this, but we're not going to, you know. Um, Cool. At least there's some power production happening again. So um, these should hopefully start working. Then, like I said, we'll get the bolts fed. What the bolts will do is we will put blockers. So I want to find out, can we put blockers down before we put bolts? Yes, we can. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to just modify these to say, I don't know, block that, 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 that. What is this? Iron, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so only coal can pass through. And there is probably an easier way to do this. I won't lie. But it's fine. This is working for now. Then we'll get some uh, splitters. Yep, let's do this. So we want a splitter to face that way. And we'll get another one to face this way. Yep. That checks out. And then... I don't know if that will work out. Yeah, but it won't because the, 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 the actual bolt here... Yeah, yeah. So that's fine. That's fine. What we'll do is... Let's go... This, 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 that, that, that one. That can all be removed. Right. Then... What we can do is pop one down this way this can face that way that will need to face this way now i believe this one should also face that way correct uh oh, bollocks i need to actually remove the block first then we can rotate that to be there this can yeah, that should actually be fine. I think. I hope. I don't know. We're all we're, we're learning. We're figuring it out as we go. Right? Then what we want to do is pop one this way. And then obviously that way. Cool. Fantastic. Even though that actually, you know what, that's pretty redundant at this point. So let's remove that. That's fine. Uh then what we'll need to do is pop one 
that way, that way, that way, that way, and that way. There we go. Cool. That should work, in theory. We don't know. We'll have to test it. So let's do that. Far, no, 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 parts. Yes, thank you. And what we're going to do is... We're actually going to just... Boom. Uh, forgot about ice. Ice needs to be blocked, too. Okay. And then that one? Yeah. Cool. Let's cance cancel all of that. Cool. There we go. Now, we're going to just collect those. Could have actually just collected them to begin with, but oh well, it's fine. And then we're gonna do that. Okay. So ah uh, crap. Alright. Uh let the ice cubes flow through again. Uh-huh. Sure. Now we add the block. Great stuff. Now from what I can tell, this should feed. Yeah from both sides and the same here with, with this section here as soon as these start to fill up this will feed into there and let's have a look there we fantastic great stuff great stuff so now we should have a mostly automated uh nope we wanted to bring that back thanks we should have a mostly automated power factory it would seem just collect all the other naffles that we've got going on in here. Okay, and then there's an ice cube. Fantastic. Do these cubes, though, reach the ones at the end? I don't believe they do. So, we would need to build. We would need to build new. Um. Okay. Let's think about this logically hmm i don't actually know i see the thing is i don't know other than other than maybe what we can do is we can extend let's see if we can maybe extend the floor tiles out okay cool i mean something happened right 165, 167. I just want to see something, because... Huh. Why does this have seven pieces in it? Do we not have... Oh. Okay. Sure. Right. Um... That's not good. At all. Oh, cool. Well, we've got a whole bunch of stuff here as well. Which we can add in. Um... Cool. This one's... Producing, I think, just like ice. And that's 100%. That is filled with storage. Um, and we got a lot of oxygen, so we don't have to worry about that. Maybe what we can do, actually, is maybe we should take some of these oxygen tanks. No, 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 no. Let's split them. Great. We can actually maybe put this over there to feed the machines and, and set up an oxygen barrier on that side as well. It's actually not a bad idea. Let's do that before we forget. Okay. So yeah, uh, like I said, the goal is obviously still to get colonists, but colonists are going to use a lot of resources, right? Which is why I don't want to just, you know, sort of bring them in and, and see what happens i would like to make sure as much as we possibly can that when they get here they will be you know again sort of self-sufficient to begin with so let's drop these in i don't actually know if this is going to work but we'll we'll see won't we we'll see i think we might need electricity for this but that's fine let's create an oxygen barrier which was probably under devices yeah we did also unlock thrusters, uh, which need hydrogen and stuff. We did unlock the docking station as well, 
Um, just before we started. Huh. Yeah, let's do that. That looks like a good idea. Because then what we can do is if we go to our cabling, we can create that. And we can just add it to our network of... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Our, our skyscraper of copper cable. Ah, for five, six, man. Yeah, come on, Rob. Come on, you can do this. You got this. There we go. Uh, you know what? Have it. Let's call it decoration. And now we can breathe. Now we can breathe and we don't have to worry about farming ice and making sure the ice is full. All we need to do is make sure the oxygen tanks are full. And if that station is anything to go by, I think we'll be okay. Because the oxygen tanks, I don't think, fall very, very quickly. So again, this, this little speck of dust will be purely a mining base for us. Because there is a ton of resources, which we can now see with our handy dandy scanner, which is quite cool. So you'll see there's a ton of aluminium here, which we're going to focus on. Aluminium and the titanium. Um, I believe this drill that was here and now... Oh, there's... Yes. I took the drill away because the drill was, well, useless again. So we're basically just going to mine the aluminium and titanium deposits. Um, and the reason being is because we want to get as much of those resources as much as we can as fast as we can as well because we want to make sure that uh okay okay so we're just gonna hand flatten this area we want to make sure like i said that we have enough resources for when the colonists get you okay it's like minecraft but in space it's great uh okay cool now thank thank you thank you thank you can you just can you fuck off give me my precious metal right i'm stuck let's float uh okay this area yeah because there seems to be quite a big deposit here now what we need to do also is we need to kind of flatten the area as much as we can so that we have um a place to put the drill which could be very interesting what is this oh aluminium okay so this is the titanium that's the aluminium um we could probably use the actual drill to just drill down which actually might not have been a bad idea huh maybe it's experiment time for that because we've kind of terraformed but i'm actually just realizing maybe we didn't need to we could have actually just placed the drill um sort of above it but no i don't think so okay no you know what we are i think we are rambling indeed indeed let's clear i'm gonna clear this area out for the drill yep 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 uh yeah that's fine actually i don't mind cool 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 um Okay, I think that should be... Uh-huh. Just... Sure. Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. Let's try that. And drill time. That's not a drill. Is, is that a drill? No. Wait. Where's the damn drill? Undermining, Rob. Good job. Fantastic. Great stuff. Um, okay. Hmm. Yeah, you see, the problem is I need it to be, like, on the deposit. Hmm. It's not really on the deposit, is it? Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. So, one also has to assume that if you blanket... So, hang on. Maybe we can do that. If we flatten that little if we flatten this area that should actually give us good coverage over the drill can we oh uh, you know what it would have been nice if we could have like held the blueprint there 
But that's fine. Because we can maybe do this. Okay. No, not on it, but that's fine. Uh, no. Sorry. It's just figuring out these anchor points can sometimes be tricky. Cool. Nice. I think that should about do it. I think we can place a drill here. And I think the drill will do what is needed. We can also just drop. No, thank you. Ah, come on. Buttons. Buttons. Up. Let's do up. Let's go up. Up here. Cool. Up there. And that should give us the sort of platform we need, I think. Yep. Well, let's give it a try, shall we? I mean, I don't think there's a harm in trying. Okay, now we just need to connect it to our handy dandy uh, skyscraper of electricity. Which is fantastic. Really enjoying this. Super inefficient, but that's the way we like it. Okay. And now we just come out this way. Great. Uh huh. Nope. That's the one. Cool. Yep. Let's keep those in our back pocket. Okay, the drill is drilling. The drill be drilling. Okay, great. So that actually also means that we necess we don't need to do that. Uh, exper uh, um, an experiment. Sorry, we don't. That is a huge deposit. We don't actually need to have the drill necessarily. We, we're sorry, we don't need to actually mine an, a hole to actually build the drill. We can we can just set the bull the the bull. Guys, words words have escaped me, and I no longer know how to speak the English. We can just set a drill down and it can take us to the land of mining. Okay. That sounds great. Fantastic. So as you can see, there's a whole lot of ore here. So we can set up a ton of... That is a massive titanium. Okay. Let's do that. Let's see what would we need and what would be optimal placement for the stroll. I would imagine if we're gonna can we scan while we have that? So let's have the blueprint. Can we scan as well? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay. Uh interesting. Interesting. We might have to tackle this bit by bit. So I'm too far away from the plant. Awesome. Plant makes quartz, really. Do I not have dirt anymore? Surely I must have dirt. Hang on. Hang on. Where is this guy? Come here. You must have a ton of dirt. Oh, not really. Not an awful lot. Uh, right. Where's the crater I made? Okay, apparently not. Sure. Okay, back to drilling. What is this? Giant drill. What plates do we need? Aluminium. Okay. But now, what makes an aluminium plate? Okay, so there's the hydro advanced constructor. Uses, produces aluminium. So we're looking for advanced constructor. So we need gears. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, gears, 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 gears. Let's go look at the tech tree. Manufacturing uh, would be manufacturer, steel screws. What would the steel screws create? Where is gears? I would assume manufacturing would be gears. Chemistry science? To do what? Fair enough. Okay, we've got the iron plate. So we can do manufacturing, but what I want to find out is where the hell do we make gears? 
Huh. Okay. Not assigned. Fine. Foundations. Mines. Minor drones. Cool. Solar. Solar? Hmm. Maybe not a bad idea to look at. Ooh. We need gears. Which comes from steel screws. Which is produced by a manufacturer. Right. So. We need the manufacturing. Oh, it's right here. Pop. Hold on, Rob. Good job. Fantastic. So that opens up a whole lot. And now I think we have vertical construction. So I'm going to do that because I also want to start elevating our platform and creating sort of a multi platform base type thing. So we got school. What does school give us though? Right. I'm not sure. So a manufacturer device to convert plates into wires. Um, geez, this is a lot. There's a lot going on right now. Okay. So we're drilling. And the network load for this little guy has been reached. So we'll need to also start developing some stuff there. Then. Okay, so let's focus. So what do we need? Sorry. Let's, let's rather do it like this. We need to build manufacturer. Convert plates into wires. Now, um, I'm thinking whether or not we should maybe go back to the station to do that. That seems like a good idea, right? Cool. I like that idea. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. Then, now that we're back here, are these things processing? Oh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, so uh, oh, actually. You know what? Let's 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 do this. Let's go. We have quite a couple of things there. So let's maybe expand this out that much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then Yeah, what we'll do is Yeah, thank you. Then we'll take this. Let's remove. Take that. Remove. Take that. We will remove that. Then let's select the conveyors. We'll remove those and we shall rebuild. 12 seconds later. Okay, so yeah, uh this is kind of the setup that I wanted to implement. I think from the get-go is these power plants on each side of a conveyor belt. I feel like that's going to give a much more even spread. And it seems to be that three is kind of a good number. I think another problem that we have as well is that we've got um, we've got a whole bunch of these uh, auto catchers that are feeding these. And, and, you know, unless you can get them to feed faster or better, um, I guess, with more power plants then yeah there is a certain limitation in that regard but however we've got these two extra ones that are now feeding these three as well that should keep up uh we have been sort of topping them off as well where there's been excess um but that should be okay for now these are running quite nicely it does say that there's still 110 percent network load so everything's not going to be running as efficiently everything's running at 90 percent which at the moment, I'm kind of happy with. I'm not. I'm not very. Um, I'm not quite unhappy with that. I think I want to just check what it, what would happen if I took these out of the of the sort of. Power, there we go. The power loop. Ninety two percent. Okay. So I think what we'll do as well is whatever we're not using at the moment. Let's switch off. We'll definitely switch off these docking stations because I, I I am not sure how they work. Opposite dock stations too far. I don't know if that means that we have to actually have the the you know the, the docking station that we've unlocked. I don't know if that's what that requires, but um do you know what until that point it's it's fine. We will we will um We'll address that. So, I, th uh, you know what? Actually, let's rather add these onto 
this network there these let's recycle those i think we can reci recycle that and that one as well and then that one cool so these two are still here we're not gonna take them anyway we're gonna leave them you know as is we could actually add them to the network of auto catchers but i want to start migrating the the resource management over here so that there's a centralized place for all of it the recycler like i said we've turned off because well it's just drawing unnecessary power so 97 percent. not unhappy with that not happy with that at all uh efficiency is also at 100 everything should be at 100 because i don't think there is a way to improve efficiency past that this has been sitting at a steady 600 we've got a good amount of ice cubes in there so i'm not too worried about that at the moment now going back to what we needed to do beforehand we've got stairs we've got um this requires the gears which requires that manufacturer now that's gonna be the next goal is to is to create that that um yeah that met that manufacturer so i think what's gonna make the most sense is we'll build a platform out from here and we will well let's i think get that platform yeah that makes more sense so that we can start maybe just building out this way all right we've got a good amount of floor tiles as you can see so i'm gonna create a good chunk of extra space we don't need to worry too much about foundations from now from what i can tell from what i can tell we don't need to worry too much about foundations because i mean even if we wanted to expand we could do this whole quadrant over here which would be great so manufacturer let's get that done let's get that going um hmm, optimal because we want okay so we want to optimize it for conveyor belts or do we want to optimize it for power delivery i mean power delivery is kind of what it is so maybe conveyor belts is a better option um especially considering it uses what does it use plates copper plates huh so it uses plates obviously and produces gears which i don't know what we'll need from that but we also need steel screws <sighs> for heaven's sake what the hell produces the steel screws okay all right let's uh investigate shall we well, like i said guys we're on this journey together right we're learning we're learning as we go i'm trying not to come into these episodes with like too much extra knowledge because like i said i want us to figure it out as we go along i don't want to just come in and be like hey look at me i'm doing cool stuff because i am an idiot and i like being the dumb okay so made from iron rods but what is it produced by constructor we have a constructor do we not yes it's this puppy over here yes so what we can do is we can there's electronic parts we can start making and there's steel screws we can also make which we need iron rods for now who the hell makes iron rods i think actually the smelter does yeah okay fair enough so what does it need it needs plates carbon sure so if we add that uh let's split say like 200 we'll add the 200 here let's add that carbon see what happens i guess because now do the steel screws or the rods sorry uh huh okay all right that's busy cooking away interesting now with the constructor we'll add the steel screws okay because then we should actually move this recycler um yeah do you know what let's remove that for now 
because, quite frankly, it's not helping us all that much. Aha, okay. So we can have two inlets, one outlet. We could block off the one inlet if we put it over here, which would actually fit quite nicely. Um, because we have an outlet for the other machine over here as well. So let's also just get rid of these. Maybe that's the problem. It's most likely the problem. Guys, it's my favorite favorite track in this entire game. Absolutely love this song, man. It's so cool. Okay, yeah, because then we can also add a conveyor belt. We can add a splitter to the conveyor. Yeah, let's, let's build it right here. It's already attached to a power junction. That's fantastic. See if we build a path over here, right, and connect it there. Uh, we can add a splitter to the... Oh, actually, no, sorry. We can add this. Aha! You see, you see, this is actually the cool thing. So, this is also where it would be helpful. Uh, or, sorry, this is where it's going to be quite helpful. Because this manufacturer, currently, uh, we can do the gears. The wire, I'm going to turn off because we don't really need that for the moment. So, actually, we don't need both. We actually just need the one. That's fine. So, we're just looking for steel screws. And we are just looking for rods then. No. What? Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we need the screws, not the rods in this machine. Correct. Go. No, sorry. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, cool. I'm, I'm confusing myself now. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's hundred percent, hundred percent. So what we need to do is blockers, maybe? Because what we can do is we can set up another storage unit, maybe over here. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Instead of a storage unit, we should actually maybe create something a little bit better, fancier, but actually it's fine. So, we'll create that, that, and then, aha, uh -huh, there we go. So, all of those resources will go into that storage unit from this puppy. Then, out of here, we will start making, and we'll add maybe a splitter. No, we don't need a splitter, do we? I don't think it really matters, does it? You know what, we can add it anyway, it doesn't really matter. Let's spin you around this way uh-huh sorry uh-huh cool gotcha now if we add a splitter it's got a logic blocks we'll add a splitter yeah so that checks out then Cool. Except, I don't know what that's supposed to be splitting. Because now it's just setting our copper plates. But we don't need copper plates to go there. So maybe a blocker? I mean, no plates, I guess? I, I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure. What else, I mean, what else do we really have in here? So we've got iron rods, which we need more carbon for. So let's grab that. Grab that. Grab that. It's not a whole lot of carbon, but it's a carbon. It's it's a bunch of carbon, right? So we got the plates in there. Copper plates. You know what? We can actually just take those out. We don't need those for now. Steel screws. Fantastic. That's actually working out pretty nicely. I think. That that should be that should be going. No. No no no. Yeah, because we don't need the plates. Ugh, Rob. We do need the plates. 
But the plates... Cool. That's fine. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. Steel screws. No, we need to add steel screws. Sorry. And gears. Yay! We're getting gears, guys. We have gears. What did we need the gears for again? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, we needed the gears for a thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right, we needed the gears for the big drills. The um No, it was under mining, yeah? Yep, we wanted the giant drills. We also wanted aluminium plates, which don't need gears. It needs expert mining, which is very far away from us right now. Okay, never mind then. From planets. Okay, so we actually need to set this up. Maybe a mine. You need miners to extract ores from planet's ground. You can select which type of resources you want to dig. Assign up to two miners for faster extraction. And then that's advanced mining, huh? Okay, so chemistry, we've got walls. Let's unlock this stuff. Oh, what are we missing? Oh, chemistry science. Okay, advanced science generated in the laboratory requires scientists for research. So this is where we need people. Okay, so our lovely premise of resources and everything else. Um, fantastic. So we need people is basically what I'm what I'm hearing from from this. Uh, no, we don't. Sorry, no, we do. Yeah, that's that's our requirements is power and astronauts. But we also need dirt and iron rods. Interesting. Okay. So is that where we want to go? I, I take it that is our next step because we've got... This is where we can advance forward. So we've got our migration. Let's do hydration. Uh, like I said, we've unlocked docking already. We've got the robots. I mean, do we need robots? Right now? What are we creating aluminium bars for? What does this help us with? Interesting. Okay. So we've got hydration. We've got human migration. Um, that's all going to be great. Uh, okay, yeah. So... What? The next step would be colonists, I believe. Who I see are arriving in 52 seconds. Okay, where? How? Where? Who? Where are they docking? Where? What? What is happening? I'm, I'm very confused. Who called the astronauts? I didn't call the astronauts. Tab? Where, where are they going to dock? I don't understand. The, is it because I clicked on this? That, that they're coming? Is it because we unlock? Oh, it's because we unlocked migration. So what is it like an automatic thing? Call astronauts function. Where the hell are the astronauts? Where are they going to land? Or dock? Or whatever the thing is. Hang on. Do I not need to create a docking station for them to then get here? And what is the purpose of this thing? I don't understand. I'm very confused. I mean, I wanted to bring that thing closer. Like... What? Okay, so that's a planetoid. That's also rare. Okay, so that's a planetoid with an iron deposit. So we can bring that close. Okay, I get the... Okay, no, no, no. I understand the harpoon now. I understand the harpoon. But to be honest with you, it's it's pretty um freaking useless at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with... Not the map, sorry. Uh, our last act for today. We shall replace it with... um A docking station. If I can find it. There we go. Docking station. Cool. Fantastic. Whew. Okay, guys. This is a big leap, hey? This is probably one of the biggest leaps that we will have throughout this playthrough. I'm very excited. I'm nervous. And if I place it here, is this ship gonna, like... Tear through... What am I missing? 
Uh, docking station? Nothing. I don't think. No, yeah. It's built. Yeah, it's built. Cool. What if I said dock? Seriously. Hang on a second. Can I not create, like... Huh. We'll have to explore that in the next one. Uh, there's astronauts launching and uh, dropping, sorry, in 23, 22 seconds. Cool. Uh, yeah, the game is running a bit faster right now. Like I said, we have figured out why. The problem is also because, again, the way my hotkeys are structured for recording, if I speed up the gameplay accidentally, I cannot speed down the gameplay until or without, like, cancelling the whole or the whole video. So that's, that's great stuff. So unfortunately, if we do, we'll just need to... Uh, Deal with it. Um, okay, so I built a docking station. What, 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 what? I don't understand. Oh, we can call an astronaut, depending on how many gold bars we have. Ah, yes, yeah, so the basis of humankind is, 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 is what, exactly? <laughs> like, okay, so... Okay, how many gold bars do we have? I don't think any, really. Because we keep smelting them, but it's fine. Because we should have in storage. Gold bars. Uh, no, nothing there. We've got gold plating, though. So, how many astronauts can we call? Let's call three, right? Let's do it. Call astronauts. Okay, can't dock. How many... <laughs> Sure. But now, question. Oh, uh, okay. So there's, okay. So the timer in the top right, the timer counts down to when the astronauts will land. But if you don't have the resources in the actual thing, then it doesn't call anything. Cool. Got you. With you. 100%. I'm still fascinated to see how this is actually going to dock now. How is, how is this going to work? Is the ship going to come in from there? Is it going to come in from there? Like what is going to happen? We have 37 seconds to find that out. Uh, we will obviously need to start building some sort of, I guess, facilities for them. Which means they will have to put our mining operation on hold. So, okay, let's call these three. Let's see what happens. Right. Then once we've seen what happens, um, we can, oh my God. Hi. Hello. Okay. Yeah. So it literally just goes straight through my shit. Okay, bye! Welcome to hell! <laughs> okay, uh... And now we've got a frame count up at the top. Guys, this is amazing. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, uh, let's have a look. There's, okay, cool. Very interesting stuff. Um... Yeah, like I said, this is where we'll... we'll like I, we'll probably leave it here for, for this episode. Let's grab a nice photo for everybody. There we go. Okay, welcome to your first day in uh, Purgatory. Yeah, it's going to be a great time. I'm, I hope you guys are excited. I am. It's going to be amazing. Um, human needs. Oxygen, you're fine. Hunger, sleep. Oof, that's going to be a problem. Uh, maybe what we do is we just use them until they die. And then we'll just call new ones. Instead of building amenities and, you know, things like that and keeping them fed and all these cool things. Um, but okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, yeah, look, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy to leave that on hold as well. I don't think it's really necessary to get that up and running and focused on that. Um, let's get this going. We want to expand vertically as well, so that's going to be needing a bit more resources. And um, good times, guys. I'm... I'm thrilled. I'm chuffed. I'm happy with how a little space station is going. I need you to please, actually, before, finally, you need to... How do I change your... Hubris! Okay. Love it. Fantastic. Uh, first station. First station. That's great. I assume I will need to send them to some sort of school. How do I change you to be a school person thing. I need you to be a school person thing. I, I I mean, I need you to be a scientist. Be a scientist, please. Can someone please be a scientist? Okay, fine. 
you know what whatever we'll figure you out on the next episode guys thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it if you enjoyed this please make sure to hit that like button and while you're there why not consider subscribing uh, it really helps out the channel and it helps um our poor fellow colonists who have come thinking they are going to explore the frontiers of space and instead they're just gonna become cheap labor for some discombobulated megalomaniac but anyway guys thanks so much for watching and until next time cheers